What's going on guys? Welcome back to JR Aviation. And I know this video came out of left field, but welcome to another new plane reveal. Here it is, we bought another F-33A. That's why Owen's here obviously in the back seat because he just got back yesterday picking this plane up. It's parked right over there on the ramp. So we'll be there in just a minute, but Owen's got to catch you up to speed with what went down yesterday. Yeah, so uh, I went out to Texas to see this plane for the first time. This was another sight unseen by. So as you know, there's some risks involved and I usually go in kind of expecting the worst and hoping for the best. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. I was pleasantly surprised with how everything happened yesterday. The plane went perfect. Nice. Um, the weather cooperated with my flight home. It wasn't it wasn't the smoothest flight, I'll say that. I, I was a little getting tossed around a little bit, but in terms of the airplane, it performed flawlessly, and I think we got another good deal, guys. Oh, sweet. All right, first start of the new F-33A Bonanza. Here we go. Clear! Close up this door. I'll close it in a sec. Look at that, dude, it starts right up. Uh, this plane we've been toying at the idea of selling our crazy modded you know turbo normalized tip tank bonanza you guys know that one on the channel very well owen's been taking care of that plane over in california flying it a bunch and that thing has been rock solid but it's almost like too nice it's it's, it's turnkey it's ready to go there's nothing else to do on it so we want the next project and we found this bonanza and uh the deal was too good to pass up so we just jumped on it it needed an annual and just a couple other little things done. So we figured while it was down in Texas, we would have the shop that was local to it, just knock out the annual. And now a couple months later, it was ready to go and you flew it back. So of course the shop did turn up a few items, but it was overall your standard annual. So we could not be more pleased with this and so excited to see it for the first time. Yeah, I'm happy to see it too. We're grabbing headsets here in case we go flying either right now or later in part two of the reveal video where you guys see it fly for the first time. So stay tuned. You're gonna wanna subscribe so you don't miss any of that. 6 8 Papa Harjan Tower, Ramoy 13 at Delta, Cliff takeoff, turn right direct McAllen, maintain 3000. 3000 right turn direct McAllen, we're clear for takeoff 13 at Delta, 6 8 Papa. All right, here we go, folks. Let's go to Arizona. Now, I know what you guys are typing right now in the comments section. You guys are crazy for thinking of selling your pristine, beautiful, modded Bonanza for this other Bonanza that doesn't have a turbo and doesn't have tip tanks and doesn't have a cool paint job. Okay, we get that. We but can get there. We, yeah, you're right. We can mod this one to that level. But the thing is like, how often do we really need that turbo normalizer? Okay, maybe when we take the trip up to like Montana and stuff, but for Arizona and California, you absolutely do not need a turbo normalizer and oftentimes you don't even want one in a way you know you get slightly less performance you really don't need it for what we're doing around here so that's fine that this one's not turbo equipped uh what else oh this one's 13 years newer right it's an 88 and yeah that, that other one's a 75 so it's a huge difference yeah but the, for the wing spar ad alone i mean the 75 you have to comply every 500 hours with a wing spar inspection i guess they have a little more prone to corrosion and cracking whereas 87 Plus, I think so. 87 or 88 plus doesn't have that to worry about. So there's some nicer perks that you get with the 88 uh, newer model year. How about dual controls? Oh yeah, and dual controls, finally. That was a huge reason for buying this plane because every time you'd let us fly, you'd have to you know yank it all yeah. the way over. But now dual controls, that, that's a beautiful thing. That's a game changer right there. Um, so a lot of similarities though to the last plane. Oh, and the biggest difference is the price. This one is obviously by far uh, cheaper than our other plane. Our other plane we're sitting on a lot of money having that thing so if we if we sell it it would give us a ton of money to buy a bunch of other planes and keep like awesome content coming to you guys hope you guys like those catch-up clips with what he filmed and now brings you to current day Scottsdale Arizona sitting out on the ramp let's go check it out for the first time as always another busy day here at Scottsdale Airport but check it out there's our new plane you can't miss it it's bright yellow like a taxi 
And would you look at that, it's Brothers on the ramp. Another yellow plane, except this one has a questionable paint scheme, I would say. Okay, but here's our Banana Bonanza, as it's been nicknamed. Be sure to comment your nickname suggestions down below. The Air Taxi, the Uber of the sky. Here she is, our 1988 Beechcraft F33A. Okay, so it's deciding to be ridiculously windy, so we'll see how the audio is, but I'll hop inside in just a minute to do most of the video in there where we're not being drowned out by, I don't know, 20 knot winds or something. Everybody's favorite part, of course, is the engine, so I'll quickly go over this before we hop inside. It's got the IO520BB, makes 285 horsepower, naturally aspirated, horizontally opposed, six cylinder engine. This is the same one that we have in our other Bonanza, except the other one, like we said, is turbo normalized. This one's like a mid-time engine. It still has plenty of time before the 2000 hour TBO. Runs like a champ, good compressions. Everything looks really solid on it, no oil leaks, super clean. And uh, Owen obviously made it here without any engine squawks. So, should be really good moving forward. Don't anticipate any major problems like we've had in the past on some of the planes. There's the engine. Let's move on to the inside and take a look in there. Okay, let's get inside out of the wind. Holy moly. Okay, I would have loved to show you guys more on the exterior, but I hope uh, Owen's B-roll clips earlier in this video suffice because it is so windy out there, you wouldn't even be able to hear us. So, interior now. Owen, take us through it. What uh, what do you like about this panel? Um, where could it use some improvements? Wink, yeah. wink, Garmin. Hopefully we can yep. get another G5 in here, maybe some other panel upgrades. Yeah, but the single G5 here is a nice addition. I'm hoping maybe we can add a second one here just for the HSI, that'll be super cool. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite modifications on this is they moved the landing gear handle, which is super helpful because this bar completely blocks the view of where it was previously, as well oh, as yeah. the lights. So one, being able to just reach like this and have a clear view of the lights is super helpful as opposed to going like this while you're trying to take off and having to lean over like this mm. just to see the light. So I really like that modification. Um, it's just a super cool. clean uh, and smooth panel layout as opposed to our other Bonanza, you know, it's kind of split in half. So I really like just the simplicity uh, of the panel. GNS 430 WAS we found out yesterday. We thought it was just a normal 430, but it actually has WAS built in, so that is nice. Just got sent off a refurbishment in 2017. Uh, GMA 340, typical audio panel, engine gauge, engine monitor, nothing too crazy. So some nice upgrades, but it can totally be taken to the next level. Christian, I know you love doing your little upgrades. What do you got planned? Yeah, how about, is there enough real estate for tip tank fuel gauges? Oh, right, if we add, that's right, if we add the tip tanks, we need to have the transfer switches and uh, a couple, actually, don't they run off the existing gauges? You just flip between. It's its own gauge, so it'd probably oh, be right okay. here, have the transfer pumps here. Oh yeah. Yep. Plenty of space right here. Yeah, we got plenty of room or over here. Even right here. There's tons of room here. So ah. really, we have a good platform for some modifications inside the panel as well. Okay, so. plenty of space. We can up, we can upgrade the transponders, like the 345 that we have in the other Bonanza. That's super clutch having that ADS-B in and out. A couple other things we can do. So comment down below panel suggestions, and then also modifications suggestions for the rest of the plane. Doing the Osborne tip tanks, it completely transforms the way you can fly the plane, because now you're talking, instead of 74 gallons usable, you're talking 114, and that's 40 gallons, 50% more fuel. Oh yeah, here's the interior. I showed a couple B-roll shots. You know, the original 80s uh, scheme with no fancy diamond stitching or anything. It's kind of basic. And the blue uh, side paneling is also in good shape. I think we can work with it, maybe in our ultimate paint scheme. Yeah, yeah, guys, guys, stay tuned for future videos, but we're thinking about uh, doing a paint job. Oh, and you're telling me you don't like the yellow? What's wrong with the yellow? No, it's just not really my cup of tea, Jeffrey. <laughs> guys, now is your time to comment down below. You need to comment down below. Keep the yellow and blue questionable paint scheme or invest the, it's not cheap, 20,000 bucks plus or minus on a nice new paint job where we have the ability to customize all the colors and all the designs we'd want. If we do that, plant, plant the seed of what colors we might go with. What do you think? I don't know, how about a hot pink? Yeah, you know what guys, pink, that's, that's where it's at. If you do say to repaint the plane, comment color suggestions down below that would go good with gray, blue, and the tan headliner. The headliner is grige, if anything, gray beige, 
Oh, it looks tan because the dang yellow is bouncing yeah. up off of it. You're right. It's like a white. It's just off white. Off ivory. white. It really allows us to put our own touch on this plane, like we always do with with cars on JR Garage. We we buy cars that need a little work, little upgrades, that so we can make it our own. This is like a blank slate in a way where we can really do some nice modifications and make, put our own JR Aviation touch on it. So while we'd love to go flying right now for the first flight, um, Christian unfortunately planned some car things today, so oh, we might yeah. not have the time right now, but it'll be in a future video, the next video that's out in a few days. Yeah, funny enough, we're actually picking up one of our cars from the paint shop. It's our Lamborghini Murcielago, and so that car has a fresh balloon white paint job. We're headed to pick it up. Yeah, super pretty pearl paint on our Lamborghini. Obviously, we're not going with a pearl paint on this plane because it's super expensive and it probably adds a lot of weight even though it's really, really pretty. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go do that real quick. We might come back to do the flying later, maybe once these winds die down. So just anyway, stay tuned for episode two where we will be doing um, the first flight and, uh, or our first flight. Owen's obviously been there, so <laughs> we're excited for that. So stay tuned, it'll be up in two, three days. And uh, we really appreciate you guys watching, supporting the channel, and we'll see you guys in the comment section down below with all your thoughts on this plane and modifications. Sh my, whatever, and modification suggestions uh, that would be much appreciated. Okay, on thanks again for uh, working magic. Heck yeah, boys. Bringing this thing back safely, and we can't wait to share with you guys on the channel. See you guys in the next one. Stay